In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Python, Jupyter, and popular data science packages for both Mac and the Linux platform. Now, your system already comes with a version of Python. You can check that by typing in which Python, and it'll tell you where this Python is at. And if you want to check its version, you could say Python. So it says I'm running 2.7.15. Now I'm running on, this is Ubuntu, uh, but you could be running on other Linux distributions or on a Mac. And usually the 2.7 version is an older version and it comes with default or by default on some of these systems. We don't want this version, we want the newer version. And so what I typically like to do is install Python with the package manager. And a very popular package manager is called Conda. And so here you can see conda.io, en, latest mini conda. So there's Con there's conda and then mini conda. Conda actually comes with like tons and tons of packages already installed in it. Mini conda, the, the reason it's called mini conda is because it's a smaller version because you can kind of install the packages you want. Instead of installing everything, you can just customize it to what you want. To install Python, we're going to go to mini conda. Uh, the website and uh, there's a 3.7 and a 2.7 now you shouldn't use version 2.7 unless you absolutely have to it's very old and um yeah you should just use version 3. so i have a uh, linux and or uh, technically i'm on ubuntu right now and uh it's a 64 machine 64 bit machine so i can download this one if you're on 64 bit mac you can download this one or if you're on windows you can download this one so i'm on linux so i'm gonna click this thing and it's gonna download it I'm going to keep it. Now I'm going to go to my downloads folder. Now that we're in the downloads folder, I'm going to do an ls and uh, this is the mini conda file. So what we're going to do is we're going to install, install this or run this with bash. So I'm going to say bash run mini conda. And when it does, it says welcome to mini conda and you have to press enter to continue and you go enter, enter, enter space bar. Okay. Now it says, do you accept the license? Yes. Uh, where do you want to install this? Child, home, child, Miniconda. That's the location it's going to put Miniconda at. And all your versions of Python will go under there too. So yes, you hit enter and it does that. And now once it's finished, it says, do you wish the installer to initialize uh, Miniconda 3 in your home child bash RC? So if you have bash, you, um, your startup file is bashrc, and if you're using zshell, your startup file is going to be zshrc. And it says here, do you want me to, to modify this file so that when your terminal restarts, it can see conda? And so I'm going to say yes, because the default right here is no. So I'm going to say yes, modify that. Now it says it, it's modified this file, and the old version of this file is here. So if you ever want to go back to your old file, let's say you think it messed it up, you can always delete this and then rename this one back to this. Okay. So to verify that this thing looks correct is I'm going to go CD back to my home directory. So CD takes you home. And now I'm going to type in cat.bashrc. And yeah, so here's my bashrc file. And what it does, it basically modifies the end of it. It says this part was added by miniconda3. Uh, and then this code right here was added by miniconda to your bashrc file. Now there's another Unix utility. It's kind of new. It's called bat. And so you could do, you, now you'd have to install this separately. It doesn't come by default. But if you do bat, what it does is it actually shows you the same file, just color coded. So whereas cat, it's kind of hard to see because the colors are all the same, black and white. Um, what's nice about this bat thing is it actually shows you this. And also one other note is my bash RC is actually in uh, source control under get source control. And this bat actually knows when, when, uh, portions of this file have been edited with this plus. So it says you've actually edited this file since your last git commit. And so it's showing me that as well. Uh, but yeah, so this, so these sections were added by mini conda. And now if I hit quit, now, if I were to type in uh, conda, it would, it wouldn't know about, um, my terminal wouldn't know about it. So if I'm at, so what you have to do is after you install this thing, you have to exit out of your terminal and then restart your terminal. <clears throat> so my terminal's restarting and I'm going to make this font a little bit bigger. 
and now that um, now hopefully things will work. So if I type in con conda version, it finds it. And if I type in Python version, now remember last time before I did any of this, it was um, 2.7. Now it's 3.71, so that looks pretty good. And if I said where, where, which means when you say which, what you're saying is is where on your hard drive is Python at? And remember last time I said like user bin Python. So now it's in a different location. Now this doesn't mean the old version is gone or erased or whatever. It just means when that, when I, when, when I say Python, the system finds this first and the other one is somewhere down the path. So it doesn't worry about that. So yeah, so it found this one first. And so, yeah, so here's Python, here's this version, here's Conda. So great. So now we have all this installed. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to install some really cool data science packages. Now that you have Python installed, it's good if we create some uh, Conda virtual environments. Now these virtual environments allow you to have different versions of Python and different packages with different versions. So you could have a, an environment with Python 3.1 and, and, and one with Python 3.2, 3.3, 3.4. And you could have different packages and one, one could have 20 packages, one could have 30 packages, one could have 40 packages. So it allows you to have a whole bunch of variety of a different version of Python and a whole variety of packages all on the same hard drive. Okay. So how, do, how we do this is we say conda env list. And this shows me a list of all the packages or all the environments I have on my system. Now this base one comes for free. Like when you install mini conda, this one comes for free. The star means this is the one you're currently on right now. Now I have one in my system already that I had previously installed called Py37, which as you could probably imagine is, is Python 3.7. So let's imagine that I wanted to install because this is three point this I'm currently running three point seven. If you forgot three point seven. Now let's imagine I wanted to use Python three point six and I wanted to install some specific packages. How could I do that? Okay. So how you do that is you say conda create dash n means name and let's call this uh Python 3.6 for Python 3.6. So that's gonna, that's our name. We can call it whatever we want. And then we say the Python version equals 3.6. So it says, hey, we're going to we're gonna install these things. Do you want to do this? Yes or no? And you can type in yes. And it's going to download these off the internet. And you can see here it's downloading Python 3.6. So we were using currently 3.7, but now we're creating a, a version 3.6. And so, yeah, we're going to wait for this to finish because it could take a while. Okay, after it's finished, um, you can say, what it says here is, is to, to activate this, this environment, say this. So I could say conda activate Python 3.6. The problem is, let's say I always want to be in Python 3.6. Um, let's say every time I start my, every time I open my terminal, I just automatically want to be in here and I don't want to have to keep typing it over and over and over again. So what I can do is I can just copy this thing, copy that text and then edit my bash RC file. And remember if you're using, um, Z shell, it would be dot Z S H R C file. So what I'm gonna do is down here at the bottom after the mini con this stuff, I'm going to say source. I basically, I'm just going to paste that thing in. So that thing right here, conda activate Python 3.6, that's exactly what it told me to type in if I want to go into that environment. So if I exit out of this and if I type in source dot bash RC, source means rerun this file or reread it, just read this file in. And once I read it in, look, so now I'm in the Python 3.6 conda environment. To prove that I can type in conda in the list. And now the base, the base, sorry, the base thing is still there, but we're in the Python 3.6 thing now, and it actually gives you a star. And it says all the Python 3.6 environment stuff is actually in this, is actually in this folder here. So I actually am in Python 3.6 now, so I could say um, Python. And look, Python 3.6.8. And I could switch over to this one or to this to this one. I can type in source deactivate. And now I'm in the base environment. 
and now if I do Python version, I'm in 3.7.1. So you can see this Conda thing allows you to switch among environments. So let's go let's go ahead and I'm gonna reread this file and now I'm back back in Python 3.6. So I'm in this thing. Now which packages do I currently have? Well you can do pip list and pip list will show you all the packages you have. You could also do conda <clears throat> Conda list and it'll show you all the packages you have installed from Conda's perspective. So what we're going to do is we're going to install some packages. Now we could either use pip, but uh, I'm going to use Conda instead. So you could either do this using pip install um, or Conda, but I'm going to use Conda. So I'm going to say Conda install Jupyter IPython NumPy, SciPy, SimPy, Pandas, Scikit-Learn, Matplotlib. Now, of course, there's many other uh, packages out there. Uh, but these are definitely some of the most uh, powerful and popular packages for data science. So we're going to go ahead and just let all these things run. And uh, once they're done, I'll show you how to use them. Okay, it looks like this thing is finished. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my temp folder. I have a temp folder called temp. And I'm just going to remove that. Okay, so now I could do conda list. And I should have a lot more packages installed than I did last time. So last time I only had a couple. And so you can see here, way more packages than last time. Okay, so let's try and use some of these things. So if I, or just to, just to prove that this thing works, if I type in Jupyter Notebook like that, that should theoretically open up Jupyter. And there it is, there's Jupyter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say <clears throat> new Python 3, uh, Python 3. And yeah, so here it is. Jupyter's running. And now I could say import numpy as np and np dot a range 1 to 20. So yeah, so it looks like um, here's Jupyter is running. Python is running. Uh, NumPy, and of course you could import pandas or do any anything else that you wanted to do. So anyway, that's how you install the latest version of Python, Jupyter, Conda, and all the data science packages, or at least the most popular ones that you need for Linux or Mac.